Hi students, we have to continue the chapter changing times. So take your textbook page number 99 and look to a heading a changing house. I think you are taken that page number 99 a changing house. Look at that textbook and read it. Time passed quickly. I finished my studies and got a job. These are about our chat and us. Okay. Time passed quickly. I finished my studies. Chat and us finished his studies and got a job. Amma Baba wanted me to get married. I thought that before I got married, we should repair our house and build a new one. Okay, one more one. In these days, people in cities were using cement. They said that this made the house, houses stronger. We also thought we would use cement. We used iron and cement for making the roof of the new room. So Chetandas completed her studies and he joined to a job. Then his amma told to get married but he had to make a room to their house. At that time cement was common to make houses. And then Chetandas also made his house by using cement and iron rods. In those days, unbaked bricks were also available in the market. We made the walls with them. The use of brick was useful. We did not need to call the wall every week. Once in a year, we would whitewash the walls. We also built a small kitchen in the courtyard. The kitchen had a machulha and a place to keep the vessels. Unbaked bricks used to be common there. That is why they also used unbaked bricks to build their house. There was a lot of benefit for unbaked bricks. We need only to whitewash these walls within a year. That is why they decided to make their house by using that unbaked bricks. They also made a small kitchen in the courtyard in the outside part and a marchulha to keep the vessels. You can see that figure in your textbook. Then look at your textbook in the next paragraph. Then I got married and my wife Suman came to new house. To cook Suman used to sit on the floor in the kitchen. We also used to sit on mats in the kitchen and eat together. It was happy time. Chetandas remembering those days, he got married and the name of her wife was Suman. Her wife used to sit on the floor to, to make food in the kitchen. And the other members sat on the mats to eat together. Chetandas remembering those days as a happy time. People used to go out to the field to their toilet in those days. Some of had a separate place for this. We also made a small toilet with unbaked bricks behind the house. In those days, the people commonly used the common field to have their toilet. But Chetandas made a separate place, a separate toilet in the outside part by using unbaked bricks. Chetandas tells that people from the best used to come to clean the toilets and take away the waste. They were not allowed to enter the house. The people who used the toilet did not clean them. Why? Because people who use the toilet do not clean it, they think it is a dirty job. And the next question is, is there a toilet in your house and who cleans it? Yes, we have toilet and we clean it ourselves. That is the best method. Okay. Otherwise, it will be a difficult job for others. 
then look at your text the heading more changes okay look at your text and read that paragraph then Charanthas said that more sons and daughters were born in that house Charanthas had two children Montu and Raju and a daughter Simi Simi got married and moved to another place called Palwal when Raju was getting married they thought that they should get ready for a new house so that they used baked bricks previously they used unbaked bricks and here they used baked bricks they also used lintel for the roof they used marble and fancy floor they happy to make the roof, make the house very clearly and attractive in the toilet they used pipes to take away the waste the kitchen was made bigger now raju's wife does not use clay chul she stands while cooking in the gas stove so there was a lot of changes at that time okay then seeing new things charendas also explained some more things okay look at the next page seeing new things my younger son moved to moved to delhi when he got a job there then their son moved to moved to delhi when they got a job now moved to stay with their family suman and charendas used to stay with mondu and lays for some years and with raju in sona village for the rest of the time sona village is a place on the way to delhi there was a lot of buildings came up there at that time after a few years they renewed their toilets and bathroom used the colored tiles for the bathroom and also they spent lot of money on their buildings now he is 70 years old in these days he has seen so many changes so he was wondering about their friends and grandchildren and how this changes will be then look at your text there are some questions what materials have been used in making your house it's a question for you you have to answer as cement sand brick tiles wood iron and rods etc the next question find out the materials from which your friend's house is made is there any difference write about it you have to write about your own answer my friend's house is made of cement sand brick stone marble and rod wood etc if you have any difference if you found any difference then you can also include that their house has marble on the floor and also something more there has one more question what kind of house do you think charinda's grandchildren will live in you can guess it they will live in a cemented house okay and look at the next page number 108 102 what would you like to live when you grow up what kind of house would you like to? you have to write your thought i would like to live in my own native place and i will live in pakka house and you can include your own thought okay then the next one you had written about the things that your grandparents house was made of have some of these materials has been used in your house name them find the common thing in this house you may found the wood okay yes wood is used in my house as well as in my grandpa's house then one more question in your place what do you call a person who works with wood okay you know that it is carpenter then there is a figure in page number 102 
at the bottom side okay what kind of works is being done in different pupil here look at that figure and find the workers who are there you can find that an electrician then a plumber and a mason okay a coolie coolie you can call it as mason electric wires and screwdrivers are the tools for electrician and plumbers use pipes cutter pillar for as they are tools okay then mason use cement sand etc as their tools and you have to find a pupil who do these works okay you have to visit a place with your teacher or someone from home go to a place where a building is being constructed talk to your people working there and find out answers to these questions what is being built there which type of building was being constructed there yes it may be a house then another question how many people are working there it is a question for you you have to answer this is it may be about 20 it will be different based on your visit then what kind of work are they doing it also varies based on your visit some people are mixing sand cement some are carrying mixers and passing to another one person is placing bricks uh, with the help of mixers and another one is cutting wood to make windows and frames then what kind of tools they are using they are using eggs drill curry spade etc it also varies okay you can write it how many men and women are there there are about 11 women and 9 women it, it also varies based on your visit okay the next one are there any children working there what are the jobs they are doing if you found any children then you can write yes and their job otherwise you have to write no then the next one how much money do these people get daily ask from any three different people you have to write the uh, money for such persons for carpenter you can write it as 700 for mason rs 500 for helper uh, 400 it also varies in different place okay this is this is a average uh, money for this pupil next one where do the pupil who work there live they live in tents near the building place or in the rooms then next one what materials are being used for making buildings wood cement iron rods sand bricks small stones plastics etc and guess how many trucks of bricks and bags of cement will be used for making buildings it also varies for different buildings 50 bags of cement and 3 tuck of bricks it's so for an average um, house okay and how does the material reach the building site by truck most probably by truck then find out the price of the following one bag of cement about 500 one brick 30 and then one truck of sand 7000 it also varies for time to time you can also ask different questions you have to write that questions in your textbook and at last there is a question over the 60 years different materials were used at different times in Chetandas house list these in the correct order you have to write the things used for making a Chetandas house in different time okay first one mud bamboo straw are used to build charanda's house then the things are changed wood nut bolt bamboo aluminium then after that 
సిమెంట్ శాండ్ రోడ్ వుడ్ అట్ లాస్ట్ సిమెంట్ శాండ్ రోడ్ మార్బల్స్ ప్లాస్టిక్స్ ఎక్సెట్రా యూ క్యాన్ ఇంక్లూడ్ మోర్ అండ్ మోర్ థింగ్స్ టు కంప్లీట్ దీస్ ఫోర్ కాలమ్స్ ఓకే